Hello, my name is Andy Tattersall and welcome to this Mendeley Masterclass. This is one that shows you the drag and drop function for Mendeley. So in Mendeley you have the ability to drag PDFs from your computer that you've downloaded from uh, journal databases and from library databases and add them into your collection. Um, and the way that you do this is that you obtain the database, the, the paper that you want, or a collection of papers. You can drag and drop many at a time. Um, and what I've got is I've got a paper that I've downloaded from the BMJ. And I have it on a second screen. Uh, but what you would do is if you had one screen is that you'd kind of minimize your Mendeley to one side of your screen. And would uh, have the uh, desktop item, the PDF, on the other so what I do now is I drag and drop, you can see this come across, I'm going to drop it into this centre pane, it doesn't matter where I drop it, it's not going to affect any of the references that I've already got in here, and what I'm going to do is just let it go, and, and then when I want to see where it is, I scroll to the most recently added, and just click added, and you can now see in this top pane added at 4.45, uh, this BMJ paper has appeared. There's the PDF. If I go to the left, right hand side, I can see the title has been added. I can see the authors. So all the authors have been added. Um, I can see it says the BMJ. Uh, this is incorrect. There's something wrong there with the metadata, so I can correct that. Just change it to BMJ. Uh, I can see the year is correct. I can see that there's an issue with the volume. It's obviously just volume 354. So I can um, change that. And then with regards to the issue, um, I can again put that in according to whatever the actual issue number is. And I can also check the page numbers. It's important to do that. So if I double click this little icon here, it will bring up the paper and um, it will show me the, the bibliographic details in. I'm not going to go in and scroll that, but you can check yourself uh, and just make sure now depending on what the paper is that you're dragging in if it's some uh, obscure journal paper from 1970 it may not have any metadata and this is all this data here on the right hand side that will be put in automatically for you if it's a new journal and if it's a it's a, it's a well established journal uh, and it's from the last few years the chances are most of this data will be there now if there's something gone wrong with this BMJ one uh, it may be the metadata there it may be something to do with the transfer but um, most of the content is there. I've got the paper in my collection and I can fill in the missing details. And at this point, it's very important that you do that. And it's also very important that you tag as well, as I've shown in other videos. Tagging is the way that you identify um, your collection. It's the way that you filter it. So that could be a module number. It could be a chapter number. It could be your dissertation. It could be a project that you're working on. So it's important that you do that. And once that's all correct, you just... Um, just save that in your collection and it's there. You can then, obviously, uh, from this point of it being in the old documents, you can then move it to a respective folder.